Good evening to you and thank you for joining us. I'm Shane Wright. The Florida Forest Service now confirming that the tree frog wildfire near Felsmere sparked due to an unattended campfire. That fire is centered in the St. Sebastian River Preserve State Park. Our officials say that blaze scorched 1,230 acres and it's 60% contained. Earlier, they had estimated it had grown to 1,600 acres. Our Steve King is live tonight in Felsmere. And Steve, what are fire, firefighters doing right now to make sure they get this fire under control at 100%? Shane, well, right now they're doing their best to protect these power lines. These are right off of Felsmere Road west of I-95, and the firefighters are doing something that they call fire lines to protect these power lines. And what that means is they're clearing vegetation in certain areas so that the fire cannot keep advancing. They do say that there is no threat to the public right now, and they say so far no structures have been damaged as this fire has mostly been in St. Sebastian River State Park. The firefighter who got a cut on his face battling the fire yesterday is back in the mix right now. The Forest Service says a recent prescribed burn deserves credit for preventing this wildfire from becoming even worse because it helped slow the spread, ultimately protecting people's homes. Here's the Forest Service's message to the people in Felsmere right now. Just be aware that we do have emergency personnel on scene uh, as of right now, and they will be on scene throughout the day. And the main, their main priority is your safety. Uh, so they're making sure that we make these lines wider, bigger where necessary, make them nice and clean so the fire doesn't get out. Uh, we're continually surveying the area itself. And the Forest Service also says that some firefighters are watering down some of the hot spots to make sure that those areas don't reignite. Reporting live in Felsmere, Steve King, WPBF 25 News. Thanks, Steve. Officials say that wildfire sparked at 7 yesterday morning. While crews battled that fire, I-95 was shut down in both directions at the Felsmere Sebastian exit. Lanes did not reopen until about 8 last night. Authorities also lifted the voluntary evacuation notice. There were no mandatory evacuations.